All right, good morning, people. Welcome to the first bulletin of Showbiz Now here on Joy Prime. My name is KMJ. John Dumelo finally got married. Now, the dark and handsome actor John Dumelo finally got married. The actor got married to his girlfriend of two years, whose name is given as Gifty Mawenya over the weekend. Now, according to reports from GhanaCelebrities.com, Mawenya happens to be the sister of Selassie Ibrahim, a well-known actress who runs Smartus Management. She's also reportedly best friends with actress Nadia Buari, meaning Romelo's wife is already exposed to the glam life and has sophisticated circular friends. Now, a source revealed that Nadia Bari might have been the engineer of the beautiful union as she reportedly set it to up. Now, we have photos from the traditional marriage. Check them out. Honey, honey, come carry your baby, go. Come and see my mother. My mother. Right, so folks we here say congratulations to john dumelo on that beautiful marriage a lot of things went on on social media side chicks gang everybody talking about it um kod posting the picture and uh, some stories and everything you know getting into a, a serious battle but well we still wish him well and we hope he has a very beautiful marriage now family life is a joy yapono says so the uptown energy boss Ponobium was unveiled as one of the headline acts at this year's GH Meet Niger, which was launched on 8th May at the airport branch of First Atlantic Bank. Now, the Amen hitmaker came in an appearance that he is not known for. He came in a three-piece suit, and when asked by IB in an interview if that was his new brand, he was all excited about his family. Family life is like something that you can't explain everywhere. It's just joy. It's just joy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, it's just, the difference is just like, oh, the are papa, you know, and I also baby, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's nothing serious. Has it changed who you are as a musician or has it added on? Every day I change. Every day I change before marriage. And after marriage too, I will change and I keep on changing. I think I have to change for the better as time goes on. Yeah. That's how life is. Man. Okay. Your brother, thanks and all the best. <laughs> So there's some chameleon over there who keeps changing. Okay, Ponobium looked dapper as well, but not like me. I'm better. <laughs> Let's get into some international news. And love and hip-hop star Tommy Lee ordered to wear alcohol monitoring device. Now, if she wasn't already, it's time for Tommy Lee to get on the wagon, unless she wants to get hauled back to jail. Now, the love and hip-hop Atlanta stars immediately required to wear a scram continuous alcohol monitoring device around her ankle as a new condition of her bill stemming from uh, two legal cases in Fulton County, Georgia. Now, the judge handed down the order Friday along with a warning not to drink any alcohol until a case says our resolve. Now we're told the device which detects alcohol consumption through sweat every 30 minutes is not provided by the court. So, the 400 to 500 US dollars monthly cost comes out of Tommy's pocket. How about that? It could have been worse for her. Now though, we're told that prosecutors pushed for getting her born from her 2016 DUI arrest, revoked due to her recent arrest for an alleged mall employee attack, but the judge opted for the alcohol monitoring instead. It's unclear when Tommy's scheduled to be back in court. But hey, stay tuned, bring you some more on that. Away from that, Cardi B talks issues with Nicki Minaj and clearing the air at the Met Gala. Now, the two rappers were snapped together at the 2018 Met Gala in New York City last Monday. Now, creating a stir, giving Minaj a candid interview last month on Zane Lois Beats One Show, in which she confirmed she had hurt feelings when it came to Cardi and their collaboration on the hit Migos track, Motorsport. Now, Minaj cried during the interview and said, Cardi showed her no genuine love. But in photos from the event, the two appeared to have a friendly conversation and even struck a few playful poses together. 
Kadi appeared on Howard Stern's Serious XM show where she opened up about her conversation with Minaj at the star started gala. Kadi was reluctant to talk about what caused all the drama but did admit she had hurt feelings too. I never was feuding with anybody. There was a misunderstanding. You know, I think like she felt a certain type of way about something. I definitely felt a certain type of way about something. Didn't want her to ever talk about it in public because I felt like we're gonna see each other again and we will talk about it. And it's always like little issues. But the thing is that it's always little issues, but you know, fans are always gonna make it a big thing. Mm. And you know, I spoke to her about it and it's just like, see, it was just something that it had to be talked about. So the Met Gala brought a lot of controversies, including that of uh, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Well, away from that, let's get into the box office and see what exactly has happened on the box office. Show Dogs is the movie. Check out the trailer. I'm Max. I'm an undercover cop working a kidnapping case. A baby panda was stolen, and they're using a the dog show as a front for animal smuggling. Why are there dogs in this meeting? That's what partners are for. What is happening in this town? Let's take these smugglers down. Uh, Vegas. I get props to hip hop, so hip hop, hooray! Viva Las oh. Vegas! Hey! Oh. Stop! Max, stop it! That... Stop. What kind of dog stop. likes hip hop? So there's a rescue mission somewhere you might just want to check out. That's the new movie on the block, Show Dogs. You don't want to miss out on that. And of course, we have a director and lead actor and the film uh, producers also coming up. Of course, uh, Raja Gosnell is the director of the movie. And then we have uh, Annette, well, Annette also being the lead actor for that movie. And then, of course, uh, that's Raja Gosnell on your screens. And he's actually the director of the movie. And then we have uh, I Will Annette, who's also the lead actor. Yes, sir. Uh, you want to check out and see how he performs in that movie. Production House is by Film Nation Entertainment. Uh, they actually put that together. So yes, Show Dogs is in the box office and you might just want to go check it out. Folks, that'll be all for today's show. Best now on the first bulletin. We have more coming up at 11 and then we have one coming up at 12 noon as well. Make sure that you tune in to get all the latest info on entertainment. My name is KMJ. I'll catch you on the flip side. Stay tuned.